Hello everybody, sorry for all the disruptions, just want to quickly address what's been happening lately. As you all know, my editing software crashed, and right after that, around that time, Hurricane Milton happened, and it didn't quite feel right for me to post videos. So right now I'm about to post another video though, um, it doesn't seem that too much damage has happened, and yeah, everything looks fine. So let's get right on to it with radiology number 11. Gosh, it's been forever. <laughs> Just to quickly recap ourselves with the air, the bone, and the tissue and muscle according to our black background. And also remember, whenever the x-rays have the R and the L, that's showing us the anatomical structure of the human body. Well, the x-rays being done, of course. Same as last time, we're mostly going to be doing like actual... I mean, we've been doing case studies, but more so of exploring and understanding what is happening in each rather than trying to learn about 50 different types of things because that's not realistic. Because um, what we're trying to do here is not exactly trying to diagnose all this. We're also just trying to have fun while doing it, you know? Alright, here's the first one. This one might have been a little bit harder, so I kind of already drew it out for you guys. Um, but let's just go through the same process again. So we see that L, that's indicating that's the left side of the human body of this patient, essentially. Um, one thing we definitely can notice, and I'm sure you have too, is the really white um, gradient established throughout all the pictures. The contrast is so big. Now, this could be done because of many reasons. Um, it could be done just because of like the density of the bones of this patient. It could be done because of just because of the like the X-ray machine they're being used. We don't know. We don't have enough context to establish that anything is wrong based on that color. But if we did, um, that would definitely be a, another issue we might have to look at. However, another issue that we can pretty much see is if we look at the right lung, they're both, okay, let's start off with this. Both lungs are pretty symmetrical. We can clearly see the boundaries of each lung and everything. But um, the right lung, we can kind of see like a small a mass like you can see this random white uh, big white area in what should be lung tissue according to our left asymmetrical lung but it's not so that's a sign where there could be a tumor or a large mass growing there and that could be something that might need to be pointed away so yeah so this is another example over here this one I'm not going to give you guys any pointers I'm going to give you guys um, let's just say Four seconds, but you guys can go ahead and pause it starting now. All right, it's been roughly four seconds. Um, if you guys still need some more time, go ahead and pause it. But we're going to go right into the answers. All right, so starting off, we can clearly see the defined boundary of both lungs. Uh, contrast is definitely much, much less dark as the previous one. Um, again, it could be due to various reasons, but that's just something to throw out. Um, lungs look aerated, everything looks fine, doesn't seem to be any um, special type of masses in any way, at least none that I can see. Um, something that I do notice, however, is, I don't actually, the letters are next to labeled on this one, but um, your right, so my right side of the screen, the right lung, um, it doesn't seem like it has the best boundaries. Now, we remembered that the heart does kind of go into the lower lobe. Of the right area right lung from our perspective right now and that can kind of influence um, whether or not we see it right but in this case we see the boundary shifting much higher up and it's not concave shaped anymore it's more of like a protruding outward type shape and that's a cause of concern because there should be lung tissue there whereas there's not so either there's something blocking that lung tissue either we can't see it or did something happen with that lung tissue? Uh, some disease, we, we just don't know what. So that's a potential point of concern that we could address. All right, uh, hope you guys had a fun day today, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.